Okay, all right. rolling. All right, we're here with uh, Lucas Cortazio, and uh, we're here in downtown Naperville on a, uh, a rainy day. That's right. Uh, that's okay. Uh, God provides. Yes. And it's been super humid all summer, and so having a nice <laughs> 65 degree day in the oh, rain is, is nice. Was but, great. Um, Lucas, tell us a little bit about your church and what you do. Yeah. And uh, maybe the name, size, place. Like yeah. That. Well, like you said, we're, we're here in Naperville, so. Uh, from Community Christian Church and Community Music. Uh, we have 10 locations in the Chicagoland area, you know, eight in the burbs, two in the city. Uh, we're about you know, 7,000 people on a weekend and then about you know, 12, 13,000 people on our database that we call their, you know, one of these locations, their church home. Um, I'm the worship pastor uh, here in Naperville, but I also get to oversee our 10 locations. Uh, and we've been here five years. Uh, and what, what's the funny name that your church has? Uh, <laughs> the Yellow Box. The yellow Box. The Yellow Box. Right, I asked him, I'm like, is that an official name? And he said it's official, Pseudo. unofficial. Yeah, unofficial. Uh, apparently everyone calls it the Yellow Box. Yes. Why, why is it called that? It used to be a Yellow Box. When we first bought the building, it was literally a box-shaped building, and it was yellow. And wow. that's what people called it, and kind of stuck. Stuck. All right. <laughs> well, uh, take a moment and just... Tell us what you're doing right at your church, or what mm. do you feel like you guys are doing right in the area of worship? Man, we are, um, we've been working the last five years that we've been here, my wife and I, Evelyn, uh, we've been working really hard at creating uh, a worship culture, a singing culture, and then a worship culture that actually goes beyond singing. It's, it's paradoxical a little bit, right? It's singing at first, we weren't really a huge singing church when we first got here, um, and and now we are, like we've, we've worked really hard at that and I think we're winning in that area. And we've done a couple of things to ensure um, that we, we, we were able to create a singing culture. And one of them, a huge one, is like having a catalog. We have a catalog of set songs uh, across our 10, our 10 locations. But at the yellow, and it's about 50 songs that we have in that catalog. Uh, but at the yellow box, every six to you know, 12 months, we really, we really are just like cycling through 20 songs uh, and that's 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 helped us uh, helped our team be more uh, excellent in on stage but it's it also helped our, our you know uh, we don't do members but our people to actually know the songs you know I, I often tell worship leaders and pastors out there you know by the 10th tenth, tenth time we're doing a song we're sick of it that's when our church is actually learning the song mm -hmm. so um, that's that's been going really well for us, creating that singing culture on Sundays, but also using that to create a a uh, worship culture that goes beyond the Sundays and songs. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So down on the opposite, and what do you think is something that you could do better, or that you feel like man, is an area of growth? Well, for personally church? for me, well, and then for us as a church as well, it's it's always relationships. It's like how do we how do we continue to invest in more people? How do we continue to raise uh, people? more leaders and artists uh, in, in a better, more proficient way. I think in the world of, of music, it's um, it's very hard to reproduce yourself without a school. Uh, and we don't have a school right now, a school for the arts. And so raising up guitar players and drummers and singers, and uh, that's hard, you know? And doing it in a, in a relational way, not just, hey, can you play for me? But hey, can we walk together? Uh, and then can we play together on Sundays? It's much more holistic. Um, my gosh, two cars here almost got into a crash. That's oh, was... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, and he had a spider crawling on him. Yeah, exactly. there. <laughs> that's true. We won't go into that. But does that make sense? Yes. Uh, raising up the next generation. I would say man. that's a pro you know, yeah. something that most churches have. So you yeah. you personally you talked about a struggle that you had earlier. Yes. You want to share on that? Yes. Uh, I'm a uh, unique, I, I guess you could say, <laughs> or, or weird. Creative. I'm. Uh, if you know Enneagram, I'm a Type Eight Enneagram person. Uh, go, go, go! I um, I know what needs to, to happen, and I'll go for it, man, every single time. And I'm always thinking in the future, thinking ahead, planning, you know, dreaming big. And so for me to work with creatives uh, has been a tough thing at times because I feel like creatives take uh, the more um, you know, they own their art a little bit more than I do. They uh, they think about things a little deeper than I do uh, at times. They take their time with things. Uh, it's like, even like just being on time to me is like the craziest thing. It's like, just be on time, you know? Uh, so it is a struggle. I mean, it's 
I think I think we uh, you know we we figured out ways here and there to deal with that, but it's 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 a constant struggle working with artists uh, mm -hmm. across the the board, really. But yeah. uh, but worth it though, really worth Great. it. All right, so assuming this is being watched by a bunch of people that do what mm. you do, yeah. a bunch of leaders, what what would one piece of advice be that you would give them? Man, uh, lead yourself. I think um, time and time again, I, I come across talented folks who have all the potential in the world, and we know that uh, potential and gifting uh, is only a part of it, and I think leading yourself for us means just going after Jesus, man, uh, with all that you have, with every breath, uh, making sure that you're healthy, making sure, making sure that your mind is healthy, making sure uh, that you, your relationships are healthy, that mentally you're, you're healthy, and obviously all of that encompassing, like your spiritual life is a, is a healthy life. So do what you need to do to ensure that you are leading yourself. Because I think people that lead themselves really well are then really good leaders of, of other folks. And, uh, sometimes we try to flip that around. We often find ourselves in tough situations when that's the case. So lead yourself. Awesome. Thank you, Lucas. Yellow Box Church. Thank you. Take All care. Right.